Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin Mizrahi and today I would like to share with you a simple tip how to help your family members remember that they need to keep your personal space and to help you get some sanity. We spend much more time at home than ever before, right? And we try to define our workspace. We try to define the times where we work and where we have very important phone call. The other day I spoke to um, a family friend and she told me she's a student and she told me that even before she wants to share something on Zoom uh, with her class, she needs to get up Tell everybody in the house that she's about to participate. She's about to share something um, in front of the, uh, the camera. So please, everyone, be quiet that much. Um, and that's natural. That's no, totally normal because it's, it's, it, this is a new normal. We are with our family members and they are just all over us. And the, you know, by the way, the basic tip that you, that you know about Zoom is to always have the camera uh, facing you, obviously and make sure that there is no nothing behind just just the wall or the bookcase so that no one can uh, move behind um, with their pajama or god knows what so yeah it is very hard okay to the point guys you are in your bedroom or or the study uh, room whatever and you want to just convey to everyone that you need quiet you need not to be disturbed and after five seconds, somebody rushes into the door and says, oops, I forgot, right? So for those oops moments, I would like to suggest using those um, uh, door po posts that we put on the, on the doorknob, right, in the hotels. I know it was a long time ago, but right, remember? One side, please clean up my room. The other side, please do not disturb. The same thing, and I'm going to share it with you uh, in a PDF file. Just when the door is open, uh, just knock on the door and ask if you can enter. And if the door is closed, please know that I am busy and wait until the door will be open. So they know when and where they can knock on the door. I know it sounds very basic, but when we are so much at home with each other, we forget about these basic rules and we need some visual cues, especially the little kids, but also the adults, don't get me wrong. Huh? So in the PDF file that I'm going to send to you, just print it out and you can, you can laminate it if you want, or you can, um, you can just stick it to the to, to your door and explain to your kids or your fam, you know, your, your partners, please, when the door is closed, they need to wait a few more minutes and come back because you are busy in the middle of a lesson or or meeting or it was a very important phone call or you're just resting. Just remember not to abuse it. <laughs> you know, when you, when you have the door closed, have it closed for like, you know, an hour max, not, not too much so that you can be accessible. And when, when no one really disturbs you during that hour, you know, feel free to, to get out of the room and acknowledge and, and share, share your, your, your gratitude for remembering the rule, for following the rule, and it really helps you. So reinforcing it in a positive way can really help the family members um, remember that, that, that you, are, you need your privacy, you need your personal space. And again, when you present it, obviously, the present this idea, don't do it when you are uh, lashing out at them, when you're very angry, but rather at the end of the day, explain. And then another reminder, um, in the morning before they start their classes and you start your meetings, etc., cetera, uh, show them the post, um, the paper, and, and then stick it on your door. All right, good luck.